In this video, we're going to explore new features and functionality of the Pattern Piece Tool for Geomagic's Freeform 2013 release. So I've prepared a couple of examples here to demonstrate the new functionalities of this tool. The tool is located under the Construct Clay palette, right next to the mirror icon. In this first example, I'm going to showcase the Pattern Piece's new functionality using NURB surfaces. So if I open up the object list, you'll see that I prepared these two NURB surfaces to work on. This functionality uses the UV positions, or UV curves, within the NURBS patch to pattern the piece. And now I've also prepared this piece of clay that I'm going to use to pattern along this patch. Now I chose this piece because it shows each of the axes. I chose not to show the bottom axis going down so you could see the difference of the orientations as I go through them. So first we select on the object we want to pattern. And then we must choose the patch from the object list. In this case, I'll choose side. And now you'll notice that the center of the piece that we're patterning has attached itself to the starting point of this surface. I can clear the snap and it will go away, but it defaults to snap to origin or start point. On the Dynabar, it also defaults to move, so I can manually come in and move where the first piece is placed in relation to the starting point of the surface. I can go back to snap to origin to return it. I can turn off the move and turn on rotate and use the haptic device to rotate the piece's relationship to the starting point. It's important to note that the location is generated in relationship to the selected piece's local coordinate system, or local origin. In my rotation tools, I also have the option to limit the rotation to X, Y, or Z axis as well as turn it off and be able to move and rotate freely in space using the haptic device. Next on the Dynabar, I have an advanced setting where I can position by value. Here I can also enter a scale, 0.4, snap it back to the origin point, And next on the Dynabar, I have Flip. Flip allows me to adjust the way in which the local origin of the piece is applied to the starting point of the surface, like so. The next option is Starting Point Snapping. And we've already looked at snapping the origin to the start point, but we can also adjust the way the origin is applied to the starting point with these choices giving us a different orientation with each selection. For this example, I'll go with this orientation. Next, we have the amount of copies we want to make. I'll use 50. Now we see there's obviously not 50 displayed on this surface. And this has to do with the U and V spacing. If I change the spacing in the U direction to 4 millimeter and the V to 4 millimeter, now you'll see that we have 50 copies. And if I increase the copies, it will add one at a time until it reaches the end of the row. So if I was to choose an arbitrary number like 500 or 1000, you'll see that the surface gets covered entirely. I'm going to increase the UV spacing to 8.
and we get this pattern that starts to emerge. I have some other options I want to show you. We can apply the pattern by direct UV grid or spaced UV grid or random position. Go back to direct UV grid. And then we have the rotation mode, which defaults to surface normal. If we choose no rotation, it'll be applied as it is at the origin in relationship to the starting point of the surface. Or we have random tangent, random normal, and random rotation. With these new features in the Pattern Piece Tool, you can quickly lay out complex patterns or textures utilizing NURB surfaces and their UV positions. We also have the option of creating it as a new piece, clearing, and applying as an addition or a subtraction. In addition to the new functionalities with NURB surfaces, you can also do pattern piece on clay as well as mesh. However, because of their lack of UV positions, we are limited at this time to random rotations. And I've prepared a couple of examples to show you this new functionality. First, we'll look at a mesh for laying out the pattern. The same as before, I go to the pattern piece icon. I select the piece I wish to pattern, and then I must again select it from the object list to position the piece. All of the same functionality exists here, except you will notice that the position is grayed out and random position is the only option. I can go into my advanced settings and scale again to 0.35. And I'll up the total number to 150. And we do have UV spacing, but this is just the amount of spacing between the patterning. I'll change it to 5 and 5, and you begin to see the pattern that we can create. As far as rotation goes, I have surface normal, random tangent, random normal, and random rotation. So this gives us some ability to make interesting patterns on the top of mesh surfaces. And of course I could create in a new piece, apply as an addition, or a subtraction. I'm going to go ahead and clear that out, bring up the object list again, hide mesh inlay, bring up the clay inlay, and show you how this works on clay. In just the same way, I first select the object I want to pattern, and then from the object list I choose the object I'm going to pattern on top of. I can manually position it just as I did before. I can do this with mesh as well. I can snap it back to the origin, and I do have the other snap options here as well as the rotation, but the position again is grayed out. Change the UV again to 5 and 5. This new functionality for mesh and clay is, is especially helpful for making textures. Because of the random nature of the patterning, it creates interesting textures on top of your underlying mesh and clay objects. These are the new features available in the Pattern Piece Tool for Geomagic's Freeform 2013 release.